Okay. Okay. Alright. Here we have our uh, gasification boiler project. And we've been running it uh, doing some preliminary tests today. I'm going to show you the gasification module and uh, I'm going to go ahead and stoke this up a little bit, throw one pallet on fire. Yeah. Pretty good amount of steam right now. Should be uh, hot fire here pretty quick. Pretty good hot fire in there, but we're going to add one pallet to it. Here we go, and you can see she takes off pretty good. Now we might smoke a little bit. We'll see. Once we get a little bit of uh, burning going, we'll uh, open up the gasification doors. Looks like we're just starting to gasify. You get a shot of that? Does that look pretty good? Let's see if we can get a close up in there. You got a cracked pane of glass there, but it's safety glass. It doesn't fare too well. And uh, so we're just starting to gasify. When we get that uh, really heated up, those bricks in there, fire bricks will glow just red hot. And we'll show you that later again if we have an opportunity. But we're just now starting to, to gasify. So we're burning the gases that are coming off of those, those embers. And we should have a nice crystal clear. That's a shot of the stack up there. That is not smoking. No smell. Theoretically, we should be able to burn anything in here, anything that's combustible without producing uh, smoke or smell. Want to get another shot of the firebox? We should be. We should have plenty. That's yeah, burning down. You can see there's plenty actually. We have smoke curling out here, but that's definitely doing its job. Maybe later I'll throw in some MDF uh, fiberboard that's all blue pressed wood. It really smokes bad and we'll see what we have then. But let me show you the steam. Right here, show the gauge. We've got about uh, 80 PSI. Can you see that? Is it dark? Too dark? PSI. Take a shot of the discharge again. Once again, no steam, no smoke, no uh, discharge. We got that rigged up with a uh, motor that I've converted to run steam. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that here and let you come over from the other side here. We've got that hooked to the electrical, and uh, we can uh, back feed a little power into the meter with that, or we could run a regular alternator or generator. Once again, get a shot of the stack, no smoke. Uh, so far, so good. We're going to play around with it, and we'll put another video on later. But uh, once again, ready?
generating about 5 amps at 240 volts there. Let's see if we put the screws to it, what we can get. back up again. We got back pressure on it and it'll start much easier. As you can see right there. If I got no back pressure, then sometimes we have to give it a, a push to get it into the right right location there. Because it uh, this is a four-stroke engine that we had modified the cam to run uh, gives us two power strokes then and we're actually inputting the steam into the the intake, and there is the actual exhaust. And once again, we've modified the cam. The right now, the steam is running the motor, and I'm going to plug that in, and that's grid time. That put a load on that, and now it's actually a generator. Once again, about 80 PSI right now. Now we're blowing the, the steam out the stack, and it's actually not visible because it's a hot discharge. We're running about 300, 400 degrees on the discharge. Our boiler temperature is about 300. And we're putting out 6.5 amps to 240 volt AC. That's grid tied, and that's being fed right back into the building, and we're using it. Now this would uh, uh, probably be enough to uh, run most small appliances and all the lights in the house. 